In order to uh, optimize our bandwidth, only presenters will be turning on their video cameras. For those of you who are just joining us, I'd like to ask you to please put in the chat your name, your country, your institution or organization, and experience in working uh, to improve communication with young people on FPRH. Welcome to this webinar on how can you ensure frank communication on FPRH with young people. This is the last in a series of webinars that have been offered over the past month by the West Africa Breakthrough Action Project. This series is called Harnessing Compassion to Improve FPRH Outcomes. I am Denise Asanvu. I am a specialist in maternal, neonatal, and child health and family planning. I have a great deal of experience working with young people. I am a family planning advisor for the West Africa Breakthrough Action Project, or WABA. Next slide, please. Our speakers will be speaking in French today. So please choose a language channel as you can see uh, the instructions to do so on the slide. Next slide. Here is the program, the agenda for today. First, we're going to uh, give you a brief overview of the project and the goals of the Empathways tool. We're going to give uh, a, a broad overview of the Empathways tool, the implementation process, and we will also hear about the experience of a young FP champion in Cote d'Ivoire. Afterwards, we'll talk about some results. Then uh, we will give our partner Amplify PF um, a bit of time to talk about their the adaptation of the family version of Empathways, we will also hear from another young FP champion from Togo. We will then move into sharing links to all of these tools that we have developed and then a Q&A. We will close our session with a brief survey in order to uh, collect your feedback on this webinar. Before we get started, I'd like to clarify that all of the microphones are off. If you have questions, please put them in the chat. We will be recording today's webinar and it will be published on the Breakthrough Action website in order to provide access to all of those who would like to see it. I would like to introduce the colleagues with whom we're going to chat today. We're going to talk to them about how to have frank communication with young people on uh, FPRH. I am Denise Asanvo. I am the FP advisor for the Breakthrough Ac West Africa Breakthrough Action Project based in Cote d'Ivoire. So I'd like to introduce you to Leopoldine Tosu, who is a young consultant on the uh, Merci Mon Aero project in Cote d'Ivoire, Edem Zadza, who is also a young consultant on the same campaign in Togo, Minata Watara, a young FP champion with Amplify FP in Cote d'Ivoire, Gebavi Ayayi, who is in charge of the uh, Young Champions Initiative implementation, uh, which is part of Amplify Togo. And finally, Fidel Adamado, a young Amplify FP champion in Togo. Next slide. While I am the moderator of this webinar, I'd like to take a few moments to take on the role of presenter in order to give a brief bit of information on WABA and the objectives of Empathways. Next slide. The WABA project, West Africa Breakthrough Action, runs from July 2018 to December 2023. It is funded by USAID's Regional Health Office in West Africa. 
The overall objective of the project is to increase access to modern family planning and to encourage its informed and voluntary use in Burkina Faso, Côte d'Ivoire, Niger, and Togo. The specific goal for the work that we are presenting today is to explore how to improve young people's access to reproductive health information and services and contraception and family planning by overcoming taboos. Next slide. All of us here may have experimented with different approaches and strategies for frank communication about, RH, about FPRH with young people, but we would like to draw your attention to the general outline of the tool used by the WABA project in its activities with young people and adults to improve frank communication between the two entities on uh, FPRH to ensure good information on the subject and to encourage young people to use health services. To do this, I'm going to hand the floor to Leopoldine Tosu. She's the president of a local NGO working in women's leadership, reproductive health, and mental health. This is a young woman who is involved in family planning and reproductive health, and she is a consultant on the Merci Mon Ero campaign with WABA. Leopoldine. Thank you, Denise. Hello, everyone. I am Leopoldine Tosu. My presentation was going to focus on giving you an overview of the Empathways tool and the results of its use in our communi community discussions. Before getting this started, it is important to define what exactly the Empathways tool is. Empathways is a deck of cards that has been designed to support young people and their allies. By Ali, we mean anyone in the community who can influence or impact young people's access to family planning services. For example, this could be fathers, mothers, uncles, teachers, healthcare providers, community leaders, etc. in discussions uh, about reproductive health and family planning. This card game was designed for use between healthcare providers and young people with the aim of fostering empathy between these providers and young people when the latter are using healthcare services. The version of the tool that we're going to talk about is the community version or Empathways WABA. WABA has adapted the original version of the Empathways tool to implement its community dialogue activities and community discussions linked to the MMH campaign. This takes place in various communities of its intervention zones. In this way, Empathways targets young people and allies. As I said at the outset, Empathways is a card game. So there are four different rounds. Round one, blue cards, as you can see on the screen. These are about opening up. A sample of a question, where did you grow up and what are the things that you like to do? The answers to the question in this round, similar to this example, give participants the opportunity to open up by getting to know each other and establishing a relationship of trust to start an honest conversation. The second round, pink cards, discovering. So in this, you'll see questions like, what does your community think about family planning? Do you agree with them? The answers to the questions allow each participant to give his or her personal opinion and to talk about their experiences as well as the opinions and experiences of his or her community on family planning and reproductive health. Round three, the yellow cards connecting. This is made up of different scenarios. The scenarios describe young people's experiences in FBRH. At the end of each scenario, there is a list of questions that allows game participants to reflect on the stories and discuss the lessons learned and their impact on young people's access to family planning services. One example of a topic that is raised, a girl's power to decide whether or not to to use a contraceptive method in a romantic relationship. The last round is round four, committing. In this round, which is the last round, 
and it's used to sum up the discussion between the two participants in the game. It asks the players to make commitments for change in action to help young people gain access to family planning services. For example, if a father and his son have difficulty discussing reproductive health and family planning, after the game, the father can commit to having regular conversations free from taboos about the subject with his son. The son can also agree to discuss his concerns and questions about reproductive health and family planning with his father. Next slide. So now that we have seen the cards, we invite you to learn how to play and pathways and pathways cards are played in turns. Players can choose between two play modes. We recommend playing in pairs or as a group to play uh, as in a pair. Partners are set sitting face to face, one adult facing a young person to interact with the cards. When playing as a group, young and adult participants sit in a circle with a facilitator and a note taker. Cards are selected according to the theme of the discussion you wish to have. For one game, the total number of cards is between nine and 12, and it depends on the theme. The game can last between 60 to 90 minutes. MMH community discussions with MPathways and WABA cards are planned and organized in collaboration with youth associations and networks of potential allies in each health district. Next slide. The implementation of Empathways goes as follows. We begin by identifying uh, stakeholders with the support of health districts and town halls. In this way, youth associations and allies are selected according to certain criteria. For example, they're an association in the area of intervention. They are a healthcare association, they're an as association carrying out community activities, etc. Then we organize training sessions for involved parties on how to use the tool to conduct community activities on uh, FPRH with young people and allies. We have uh, reproduced and made available the Empathways card kits for to um, direct community discussions. We have also organized coaching sessions with these organizations to facilitate their ownership of the methodology of Empathways discussions. We have developed mechanisms to monitor the implementation of activities with the organizations. Finally, with the help of organizations and the cooperation of health districts, we have implemented community discussion activities in the communities. More specifically, how do you create a community discussion with community and pathways? There are three main steps to follow. Before the discussion, identify the participant, the date, the place, the topic of the discussion, as well as the video of the Thank You My Hero, Merci Mon Hero campaign to be used. Then we select the cards and the videos according to the topic that we wish to discuss. For WABA, we are referring to the series of topics of the Merci Mon Hero campaign. During the discussion, we need to arrange the participant either in pairs or in a circle according to the approach that they chose, but not both. Then we place at the disposal of the participant the cards. In the case of the pairs, participant play the game themselves. In the case of the focus group, a moderator takes care of the facilitation of the discussion and there is a note taker. Regardless of the model selected, the game starts with the rules of the game and ends with the commitments made by the participant. Following the discussion, we are going to follow up on the commitments that were made.
as far as as far as the expectations for the empathway cards they are located at three levels first create a framework for a candid conversations between youth and allies thus the priorities of the youth are better explained by themselves in their own words and according to the experiences that they've had the allies better understand the priorities of the young people as well as their needs in terms of family planning Allies understand their part as supporters of the young people and in making personal decisions, as well as the part they play to support the young in the FPRH field. Here, in a nutshell, is the community version of the Empathway tools. We are here to answer any question you might have. I thank you for your kind attention. Thank you, Leopoldine, for, our, for having enlightened us on this general overview of the Empathway tool, as well as the processes of the implementation of WABA. Dear participants, we now are going to hear the testimonial of the use of this tool, which helps to carry out a candid and open conversation of F on FPRH with young people. Listen to the testimonial of Minata Watara, uh, youth uh, um, implied in active in the field of FPRH, a young champion for Empli FPF who has experimented in the field of community activities. Minata, you have the floor. Thank you. My name is Minata Watara. I would like to explain to you how the Empathway tool was used as a a guiding tool for me and the person with whom I was working in our activities to create awareness as well as intergenerational dialogues. The use of Empathway cards has allowed us to break a number of taboos and carry out our interaction with participants on delicate uh, topics that regard FPRH for young people. For instance, there is a scenario under round three of the tool that talks about the negative of allies on the use of methods, uh, contraception methods in particular of the condom. It shows a young man who drops a condom from his pocket in front of an adult who looks at him in judgment. This type of scenario allows to present the situation and leave the participants uh, parents and children give their opinion on the situation. How would they have felt felt if they were the young man? This launches a candid and direct conversation between the two parties, and at the end, uh, we may lead to changes of behavior. It's not always easy to deal with issues of sexuality in society, particularly among the young people. The Empathways tool allows to facilitate interactions and break those disturbing tabs. As a, a young uh, champion for a family planning committed uh, into the struggle against unwanted pregnancy, I recommend that all projects be focused on, on reproductive health and family planning for adolescents and young people and use this tool because difficulties and taboos will always be there and might hinder on open communication with young people on FPRH. And this tool comes as a solution to ease our task. I thank you. Thank you, Minata. Following the testimonial of the young uh, Amplify P uh, PF, PF Young Champion, let's look, dear participants, at the results generated by community activities with the Empathways tools. And for this, I will give the floor for a second time to our friend Leopoldine Tosu. Thank you, Denise. From April 2022 to February 2023, WABA organized 27 community discussions with Empathway in Cote d'Ivoire, 24 in Togo. Following these discussions, WABA carried out uh, light uh, follow-up activities with adult participants in order to better understand if the use of the Empathway community uh, cards during these activities uh, helped modify behaviors of community members when it came to uh, young people and contraception. The follow-up activity was not designed to make conclusive declaration on the impact of the activity. 
The data were used rather to understand the capability of this card game to influence behaviors, standards, and um, attitudes as declared. This activity, this follow-up activity, tried to understand attitude and standards for adult participants regarding uh, youth access to family planning after participating in M-Pathway community discussions. This type of commitments made by the adult participant uh, following, of, following these discussions and whether the adults did respect their commitments. Two young consultants working on the Merci Moiro campaign, one in Mali, one in Burkina Faso, carried out phone conversation with adult participants, men and women in Cote d'Ivoire and Togo, one month following their participation to a community and pathway activity. We have collected data um, in front of, uh, from 61 adults, amongst whom 46 were men and 15 were women. 25 participants came from Togo, 36 from Cote d'Ivoire. Among the results, 100% of the women that were uh, questioned have, this, have indicated that they could help, that they were convinced they could help a young person access family planning methods. 73% of the women that were questioned and 76% of the male respondents declared that they had met the commitment that they had promised to keep. 80% of the women that were uh, asked and 91% of the men who were asked declared that they had recommended information and contraception uh, services and uh, family planning and sexual health to young people in their community following their experience with uh, M pathways on the community level. Furthermore, 93% of the women and 95% of the women said they talked to someone else about the M pathway community cards after using it them themselves, which may indicate that this approach was also used to start conversations, reflections uh, after and beyond the activity itself. Adult participants have also indicated that the M pathway cards were used to create an unusual dialogue on a subject normally considered as taboo. They have also increased the number of discussion on FPRH between parents and their children, both in the context of community discussions uh, facilitated by the M-Pathway cards and outside of it. The, use, the, the tool was useful to support, teach, and guide youth. M-Pathways allowed to teach adults how to discuss FPRH with young people. M-Pathways has also allowed to strengthen the enthusiasm of young participants about using what they've learned to help others. Finally, the Empathways tool is a good way to strengthen trust and uh, opening of the minds between people. These are a few of the results of the community discussions with Empathways. Thank you. Thank you, Leopoldine, for sharing these results. So, dear participants, after looking at this general overview of the Empathway tool through the definition, the way the cards were created, how to use it you, through uh, implementation process for the WABA experience and the testimonial of the Young Amplify uh, PF Young Champion to share the results. We ask you to now focus on the process of adaptation of the community version of M Pathways to a family version. To do so, we are going to listen to Komlan Edem Dada known as Edson Lozoro, who is an artist and a singer who is a militant in the P, uh, FPRH and using his voice through songs to communicate and break taboos on family planning and reproductive health. He's a consultant in charge of the um, Merci Moiro in Togo. Edson, you have the floor. Greetings one and all. Thank you, Denise, for this kind uh, introduction of myself. For those who don't know about my name, uh, I am known as Edson. I would like to talk to you about the reason why it became necessary to create a family version of the M-Pathway tools and how the process of adaptation of the community M-Pathway tool in a family version was launched. 
during the implementation phase of the community and pathway tools in all the intervention areas for the WABA and Amplify PF projects, several participants to the M pathway card games and the community one, both adults and youth, uh, indicated their satisfaction with this approach, which facilitated the discussion on topic uh, topics linked to family planning and reproductive health in a fun way. Participants usually uh, felt empathy for young people in general and, and the members of their family in particular. And during each session, they asked if they could have this tool to use within the family circle. And so to meet the request from the parents, the WABA team and Amplify PF felt it necessary to adapt community and pathways to have a version that takes better into account the family reality while strengthening parents' social support and the self-efficacy of adolescents and youth to use plan family planning services. To help break the taboos around discussion of family planning and reproductive health within the family circle, provide parents and nannies a tool for converse, conversations that are trusting and empathetic with their children on the topics of reproductive health and family planning, and strengthen the work of community actors trained to help the passage uh, and the scaling up and durability of the tool. Thank you. In doing so, WABA, in collaboration with Amplify PF, organized a, a creation and design workshop in Togo and Cote d'Ivoire, the goal of which was to gather ideas from the various stakeholders in order to better adapt the tool to their needs while reviewing the reasons why it is important to carry out conversations on family planning and reproductive health between parents and children, and what prevents parents to start these discussions with their children, make proposals on the way to create the framework, as well as a favorable climate uh, to a for a discussion on the delicate subjects of reproductive health and family planning in the family, the little um, tricks, the opportunities that could be seized, the, mo the words, the moments, and use the community version of the Empathway card game to create the family version, as well as prepare the guide of the operation of the uh, family version of the Empathway game based on the community version, as well as make recommendations for the games to happen and how to scale it up. Stakeholders to the co-creation of the family version of the Empathways tools were the parents, their children, representatives of partner associations such as Merci Moiro, uh, youth champions, experts in uh, adolescent uh, issues, actors involved in social and behavioral change in reproduction health and family planning, as well as representatives from the Ministry of Health. These stakeholders were organized into working groups of young people and parents in order to reflect from the point of view of each group without outside influence. The WABA team drew up an exercise book to analyze and identify the main barriers to discussions between parents and children. They identified the ideal settings for discussions, and they analyzed the content of Community and Pathways game and suggested content more suited to family use. The work was also um, accompanied by a presentation from a specialist in adolescent issues uh, on identifying adolescents. Next slide. So let's look at this presentation a little bit closer. This presentation on identifying adolescents enabled participants to understand a number of things about the changes in their children's lives. They could draw on these elements to better orient themselves in 
looking for ideas for adapting the Empathways tool. In particular, this session enabled participants to understand that adolescence is an obligatory passage from childhood to adulthood. It is a time of physical and mental changes that comes with physiological and attitude changes that can vary on whether uh, you are a boy or a girl. During this period, every human is faced with three major challenges. Gaining autonomy, the construction of your personality, and the expression of sexuality. These challenges can be explained by the fact that children want to decide for themselves. They start having opinions that are different from their parents' opinions, and they have their first sexual experiences. It can be a first love, a first kiss, a first breakup, first sexual relationship, etc. So it is important for parents to understand these phenomena and accept The interpreter has lost the audio. Ah, can you hear me? Yes, it's good, Edson. Please go ahead. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. So I was saying that it is important for parents to understand these phenomena and accept this period of radical change in their adolescence development. This will help them understand their reactions, attitudes, and behavior. And above all, it will help parents know how to support them. At the end of this ideation and co-creation workshop, proposals were made in Togo and Cote d'Ivoire on the content of the cards in this family context. Pro proposals from the two countries were synthesized to produce a prototype of the family version of the Empathways tool. Like the community version, it contains four rounds, but there are fewer cards compared with the community version. The family version has 25 and the community has 44. This prototype of the Empathways game, of, of the family version of the Empathways game was field tested by Amplify PF team. And results were collected for the rest of the finalization process. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Edson. Lezoro. After sharing the adaptation process, we are delighted to share the results of a pretest that was conducted by Amplify PF, which, to remind you, is a complementary project to WABA with the same areas of intervention. WABA handles the communication to generate demand, and Amplify PF FP takes care of the service offers. We're going to give the floor to Mr. Ayayi Agbebavi, a clinical psychologist by training, who has a master's in project and program monitoring and evaluation. He's in charge of monitoring the implementation of the FPRH Young Champions Initiative, an approach to the promotion of family planning and reproductive health services by young people with their peers. Ayayi, please go ahead. Thank you so much, Denise. I am Ayayi Egbebavi. For the pretest of the family version of the tool, we used a methodology that consisted of three stages. First, the preparation for pretesting sessions with young champions on the family version of the game and reporting tools. We selected 30 families. This was done by the Young Champions in the five districts. Next, we conducted pre-test sessions. We gave the families orientation on the objectives and the rules of the game. And we 
held the sessions themselves. This was done by young champions with technical support from the Amplify APF staff. Last but not least, we processed the reports from the 30 pretest sessions. Next slide. So, where and with whom did the pretests take place? The pretest sessions took place within families. It brought together parents and their children, young children or adolescents. These sessions were conducted by the young champions, as I said before, with the support of Amplify PF technical staff. Here are a few pictures from these sessions. Next slide. For the pretests, we used printed cards. And as you can see here, we've added uh, total uh, trust leaflets to give participants more information on the different contraceptive methods. Next slide. Here is some information about the participants in the pretest sessions. For the 30 sessions, we had a total of 38 parents and 40 children. Among the parents, 61% were women, and among the children, 67% were girls. In terms of the level of education, Secondary schooling is more common among both parents and children. So with parents, 53%, and children with secondary schooling, 78%. Next slide. In terms of a profession, 34% of the parents are uh, craftsmen or artisans, 29% are civil servants. For children, 52% were students, and 33% were apprentices. Next slide. Next slide. I don't know if it's me who's not seeing it or, okay. All right, that's good. So a summary of the parents' feedback shows that the game has enabled them to do the following, create a friendly atmosphere within the family, to learn health-related information that is targeting young adolescents and young people, to understand the reproductive health and family planning needs of adolescents and young people, to know more about different contraceptive methods available, and to be informed about bad rumors and myths that surround these methods have the opportunity to break the science, silence on topics related to sexuality and to commit to communicate with their children on topics related to sexuality and supporting them in identifying their own needs. Next slide. A summary of the young people's feedback. It shows that the game has enabled them to gain the trust of their parents and be able to open up to their parents for the first time about their uh, P, their FPRH needs, to know the different, know more about the different contraceptive methods available. It gave them an opportunity for friendly discussion with their parents in order to fill the emotional void created by a lack of communication with their parents. It helped them to feel understood by their parents to understand their parents' concerns with regards to talking to them about sexuality. It allowed them to feel the affection that their parents have for them and also to commit to open up to their parents about their family planning and reproductive health needs. Next slide. An analysis of the session by the 30 young champions revealed that for the length of the game, 
26 out of 30 or 87% of young champions found it useful. For clarity, all 30 young champions found the instructions to be clear. The content of the cards is suitable for 29 of the 30 young champions, so 97%. These results show that the cards selected during the co-creation workshop are adapted to the family context. Next slide. So let's talk about next steps. They include taking the pretest observations into account when finalizing the tool and to popularize the final tool. Thank you. Thank you, IAE, for this presentation. Now we'd like to give the floor to Adama Vo Fidel, a passionate young woman who is committed to raising awareness of uh, FPRH among her peers. She's a young FP champion on the Gulf District's Amplify FP project in Togo. She is going to talk about her experience with the community pretest of the family version of the Empathways tool. Fidel. Thank you, Denise. Hello, everyone. Thank you for inviting me to talk about my experience of participating in the pretest of the family version of the Empathways tool. My name is Alpha Fidel Adamavo. I am a young FPRH champion of uh, Ria Gulf. The pretest process was very rewarding. We were surprised by the enthusiasm of both parents and children for the game, despite some initial reluctance to discuss uh, reproductive health related subjects. At the end of the game, some parents expressed a desire to keep the cars for future sessions with their young children and teenagers. They were also very pleased to have learned information about the different contraceptive methods that are available. And they felt that they were better informed about the myths and false rumors surrounding these methods. The parents did not hesitate to commit to be closer to their children and their reproductive health needs from now on. However, we did encounter a few challenges. For example, some parents and children had difficulty discussing FPRH topics, even with the cards. Some parents or some participants had difficulty dealing with their emotions after playing with the cards, and there were other challenges as well. In my experience during the pretest, when I saw the faces, whether parents' faces or children's faces, they lit up after the game, and I said to myself, there. At last, here is something that can help all parents who find it difficult to dive in and have an honest conversation about family planning and reproductive health with their children. So I'd like to thank Amplify, FP, and WABA projects for having thought of this solution. The solution is going to revolutionize communication between adults and young people on these topics, even if troublesome taboos linger in our countries. That's why I'd like to end with a plea. Please make this family version available to all families in our communities. Thank you very much. Thank you, Fidel. After all of this uh, uh, sharing about the Empathways tool to improve uh, FPRH communication with young people, you may be asking where to find these resources for example, if you want to implement this approach in your country or integrate it into your youth activities. So I'm going to invite Edson to let us know about where the resources are available. Edson, please go ahead. Thanks, Denise, you are right. I know that many of the participants are very enthusiastic about the tools that we have presented today. Don't worry. Most of the resources that we have talked about today can be found on the Merci Mon Hero campaign website under the resources tab, which you can see here on your screen. We'll add the link to that page in the chat now. 
or you can take a screenshot of this slide. You'll you will find links towards the community cards for the M Pathway games, the facilitator guide that was mentioned at the beginning, the series of topics mentioned by Leopoldine in the beginning of the webinar, as well as the reading lists for YouTube for all the videos of the Thank You My Hero campaign, as well as the Waba ones that were used to present the various discussions uh, in within communities on M Pathway. Soon we're going to add a few more uh, results on uh, community empath ways that will be available in French and in English, as well as a short video on the how to in French for organizations or projects interested by organizing their own community empath way conversations. You will also find the Empath Ways tools under its original version, which is for uh, family planning and young people's provide uh, for the family planning providers and young people, and to see how other projects have adapted it to their own use, including v via uh, uh, HIV and PrEP services for young people on a separate web page, and we're going to add the link in the chat right now. The family version of Empathways will also be available once it has been finalized with Amplify PF. Thank you. Thank you, Hetson, for sharing the resources with us. We are looking forward to any to hear any questions. We have about five to 10 minutes left for this question. So if you have any questions, please place them in the chat window and the various uh, speakers will be able to try and answer. I believe that most questions already in the chat have received an answer. So we're trying to see if you have any further questions. Doesn't seem to be the case. So allow me to ask our participants the following. In the countries where you intervened, are, according to you, the challenges the same or similar in terms of uh, com communications on uh, family planning and reproductive health with young people? Please put your answers in the chat. Also, do you think that we can um, motivate uh, parents and community members with this type of activities in order to overcome all these barriers to candid, frank communications with young people on uh, uh, issues of family planning and reproductive health? And um, our speakers are 
uh, also welcome to answer. I see no further questions in the chat. So I wanted to know if we can motivate parents or community members through these activities. Anybody can answer. Anybody wants to answer among the speakers? Hello. Yes, Leopoldine. I believe the need exists with the experience we've had in Cote d'Ivoire and maybe in Togo as well during the implementation of the Empathway community tools at the end of the discussions, usually participants remain in order to continue the discussion and discussions would go on for quite a while. So as far as I'm concerned, the family uh, tool comes to meet this gap because often what well, at the end of the discussions, people would just go home. So the family tool and then with all the institutions that are made available can allow can help the populations, the families to continue the conversation. So as far as I'm concerned, uh, it is important. What can we do to encourage communities to disseminate the tools within the various groups, within the various families, in order to make sure that people can use them? For instance, there was a community activity that we carried out, and we realized at the end of the session that there were even community challenges within the community itself. So the Empathway tools could help solve the uh, communi communication issues and at the between the various generations. So at the end of the discussions, we realized that young people had greater empathy with their allies and vice versa. As far as I'm concerned, this was uh, something absolutely remarkable. Thank you. Thank you, Leopoldine. I see that uh, from this uh, response that the ideal is to scale up the tool to help the members of community, be they parents, youth, to have a candid, frank conversation. But I'm going to ask our speakers, what is the cost, for instance, I'm a program based in Mali. I want to use this approach. How much work time will that require? Um, and how much funds would be needed to have this tool available and be able to implement it? Thank you, Denise. This is a very good question. I would like to answer, if I may. As far as the implementation of the tool is concerned, I think that even a participant asked a question in the chat uh, in terms of uh, the orientations. First, we'll need to have an idea of how the tool can evolve, which goes through a training phase. We have already anticipated within the WABA project, this process by creating a support that will allow anyone to quickly understand how the tool works on the user side with a guide and a video which will soon be able to support the guide that will describe the entire uh, way of the flow of the of the process from beginning to end. As far as the uh, game is concerned, if you want to share your experience, for me, for instance, in Togo, we had to print the cards on plasticized paper. On average, the cost was 50,000 CFA franc for us to produce a full deck from the first for all for all the cards of the first round of the second round all the one all the way to the end we've produced uh, uh, at least 10 for one association that we've created so the total of these four products plus 
the title and all, the cost was about 50,000 CFA francs. So that gives you a rough idea of the potential cost. See if you want to implement it in your sector. Thank you, Hudson. So the kit will have round one, two, three, and four. That forms okay. one kit, um, if I'm correct. So, so on average in CFA francs, I think our friends will be able to convert it in dollars, but we're, to, we're looking at 50,000 CFA franc per kit. But the challenge is to encourage the creation and the use of this tool with the resources shared by the presenters and because we have a solid basis to duplicate the approach. Yes, it's in just one small detail. Round one, round two, round all the way to the end that creates a full kit that we share with the association. One uh, kit is 10 rounds. So we can have 10 pairs of people playing the game from the beginning to the end, 10, not five. This is what is 50,000 uh, CFA franc approximately. Thank you. Thank you. I think we have a couple of questions. I think we've answered a number of questions in the chat. Dear participants, I would like to thank you. Thank our partners. Thank you for all the speakers during this webinar. Please take a moment for uh, to meet the poll, the quick poll. It's going to take you a minute or two. So we ask you to answer the poll. And thank you very, very much for your participant, for participation to today's meeting.